I'm kind of stuck right now. I'm waiting for some parts to come from eBay. I need a couple little extensions off the GPU water block because these new fittings aren't working with the heat sinks and stuff. I'm going to have to do a little extension so they stick out like right here. Hopefully it'll be about right there. It's not going to be this fan. But I'm going to put a little 60 millimeter fan right here as an intake. And uh, I got one that's a 15 millimeter, which is probably about that skinny. And so I can't get really too far ahead of myself until I cut the hole. I'm sure most of you are familiar with this on a Dell Optiplex desktop model. It's basically the cooling, C the CPU cooler fan. And this is an internal speaker, which gives you a little bit of sound if you don't have external speakers. Uh, it's a pretty crazy speaker, it's, it's huge. So I'll probably be ditching that. Um, what I can't ditch is the CPU fan because if it's not, if it's not plugged in to this port, it gives a warning every single time you boot up. So what we have to do is get another PMW or PWM fan, excuse me, um, with four wires, just like the Dell. The only thing that Dell does is they switch the order of wires. The colors are switched around and it's a different proprietary plug just for Dells. So I'm going to take this plug off of the Dell fan and I'm going to wire it to this fan and then we're going to have um, this little fan be mounted somewhere around there, not resting on the motherboard of course. It'll be a little bit higher, like right there. And it'll be an actual intake fan. And it'll provide a good steady flow of cool air into this area right here, hopefully helping cool off the graphics card a little bit and supplying some fresh air for the radiator. And that's my plan. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to wire this up. All the signals from the motherboard go to the same wires. You know what I mean? So. I don't think it's going to be an issue just rewiring a Dell plug onto this one and have it go. But what I am going to do is I'm going to take the motherboard out and everything and I'm going to set it up kind of as a, a test bench or whatever just to make sure that this is going to work before I cut a hole in the side of the thing. Because if I can't get it to work then there's no point in having a hole. So let's do this and hopefully it works. I think it will. I hooked everything up. It's kind of just quick and dirty. After I wire up this little other fan, I'm just gonna maybe stick it right here and plug it in. See how everything goes. I mean, I probably could have just done a quick little test without putting the heat sink and all that stuff, but I don't wanna overheat my CPU at all so right now I'm going to switch out this plug and boot it on and see what happens yeah I'm just gonna strip the ends of the wires attach all the colors to the colors put a little electrical tape over them for right now to see if it works and if it works I will go ahead and shorten up this uh, wire right here because I don't need a bunch of wire hanging around there and then I'll twist them properly put a little bit of um, heat shrink and solder the the uh, connection and then uh, it'll be done nice and clean but right now it's gonna be ghetto and there you have it when I said quick and dirty I meant quick and dirty let's plug it in I think I'm gonna uh, run a little screw through here and just kind of wedge it into the heat sink in there to keep it in place and then we'll see if this gives us any errors or not. Alright, we got a little fan sitting there. 
It's plugged into the fan header. Let's turn the power supply on. Push the power button. Let's see what happens. And so far, so good. Ah, oh, let's see. That's just tell me that it, the system memory has changed. It's not a fan thing. So we'll just press F1 and continue. And voila, we did not have a fan issue. That's awesome. Cool. I'm really glad we didn't have a fan failure. Yay! We won't be getting any fan warnings on boot. And the CPU temperature is climbing a tiny bit, but not really. Alright, it's a success. Now we can take this shit back apart and cut a hole in the side of the case and mount that fan and we'll be on our way. Excellent.